Porto, Portuguese pronunciation, Porto, also known as Oporto in English, is the second largest city in Portugal after Lisbon and one of the major urban areas of the Iberian Peninsula. The city proper has a population of 237,591 and the metropolitan area of Porto, which extends beyond the administrative limits of the city, has a population of 1.9 million 2011 in an area of 2,395 square kilometers, 925 square miles, making it the second largest urban area in Portugal. It is recognized as a gamma-level global city by the Globalization and World Cities GAWC study group, the only Portuguese city besides Lisbon to be recognized as a global city. Located along the Douro River estuary in northern Portugal, Porto is one of the oldest European centers, and its historical core was proclaimed a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1996. The western part of its urban area extends to the coastline of the Atlantic Ocean. Its settlement dates back many centuries, when it was an outpost of the Roman Empire. Its combined Celtic-Latin name, Portus Cale, has been referred to as the origin of the name, Portugal, based on transliteration and oral evolution from Latin. In Portuguese, the name of the city is spelled with a definite article O Porto, consequently, its English name evolved from a misinterpretation of the oral pronunciation and referred to as O Porto in modern literature and by many speakers. One of Portugal's internationally famous exports, port wine, is named after Porto, since the metropolitan area, and in particular the sellers of Vila Nova de Gaia, were responsible for the packaging, transport, and export of fortified wine. In 2014 and 2017, Porto was elected the best European destination by the Best European Destinations Agency. Porto is on the Portuguese way path of the Camino de Santiago. History <inaudible> Early history The history of Porto dates back to around 300 BC with Proto-Celtic and Celtic people being the first known inhabitants. Ruins of that period have been discovered in several areas. During the Roman occupation of the Iberian Peninsula the city developed as an important commercial port, primarily in the trade between Olisapona the modern Lisbon and Bracara Augusta the modern Braga. Porto was also important during the Suebian and Visigothic times, and a centre for the expansion of Christianity during that period. Porto fell under the control of the Moors during the invasion of the Iberian Peninsula in 711. In 868, Vimara Pérez, an Asturian count from Gaiaicia, and a vassal of the king of Asturias, León and Galicia, Alfonso III, was sent to reconquer and secure the lands back into Christian hands. This included the area from the Minho to the Douro River, the settlement of Portus Cale and the area that is known as Vila Nova de Gaia. Portus Cale, later referred to as Portucale, was the origin for the modern name of Portugal. In 868, Count Vimara Pérez established the County of Portugal, or Portuguese, Condado de Portucale, usually known as Condado Portucalense after reconquering the region north of Douro. In 1387, Porto was the site of the marriage of John I of Portugal and Philippa of Lancaster, daughter of John of Gaunt. This symbolized a long standing military alliance between Portugal and England. The Portuguese-English alliance see the Treaty of Windsor is the world's oldest recorded military alliance. In the 14th and the 15th centuries, Porto's shipyards contributed to the development of Portuguese shipbuilding. It was also from the port of Porto that, in 1415, Prince Henry the Navigator son of John I of Portugal embarked on the conquest of the Moorish port of Ceuta, in northern Morocco. This expedition by the king and his fleet, which counted among others Prince Henry, was followed by navigation and exploration along the western coast of Africa, initiating the Portuguese Age of Discovery. The nickname given to the people of Porto began in those days. Portuenses are to this day, colloquially, referred to as tripiros, English, tripe peoples, referring to this period of history, when higher quality cuts of meat were shipped from Porto with their sailors, while off cuts and by products, such as tripe, were left behind for the citizens of Porto. Tripe remains a culturally important dish in modern day Porto. Topic: 18th century. Wine, produced in the Douro Valley, was already in the 13th century transported to Porto in barcos rebelos flat sailing vessels. 
In 1703, the Methuen Treaty established the trade relations between Portugal and England. In 1717, a first English trading post was established in Porto. The production of port wine then gradually passed into the hands of a few English firms. To counter this English dominance, Prime Minister Marquis of Pombal established a Portuguese firm receiving the monopoly of the wines from the Douro Valley. He demarcated the region for production of port, to ensure the wine's quality. This was the first attempt to control wine quality and production in Europe. The small wine growers revolted against his strict policies on Shrove Tuesday, burning down the buildings of this firm. The revolt was called Revolta dos Borrachos, Revolt of the Drunks. Between 1732 and 1763, Italian architect Nicolao Nassoni designed a Baroque church with a tower that became its architectural and visual icon, the Torre dos Clerigos English, Clerics Tower. During the 18th and 19th centuries the city became an important industrial centre and saw its size and population increase. Nineteenth century The invasion of the Napoleonic troops in Portugal under Marshal Soult also brought war to the city of Porto. On 29 March 1809, as the population fled from the advancing French troops and tried to cross the River Douro over the Ponte das Barcas a pontoon bridge, the bridge collapsed under the weight. This event is still remembered by a plate at the Ponte de Luis I. The French army was rooted out of Porto by Arthur Wellesley, 1st Duke of Wellington, when his Anglo-Portuguese army crossed the Douro River from the Mostero da Serra do Pilar a former convent in a brilliant daylight coup de main, using wine barges to transport the troops, so outflanking the French army. On 24 August 1820, a liberal revolution occurred, quickly spreading without resistance to the rest of the country. In 1822, a liberal constitution was accepted, partly through the efforts of the Liberal Assembly of Porto, Junta do Porto. When Miguel I of Portugal took the Portuguese throne in 1828, he rejected this constitution and reigned as an absolutist monarch. A civil war was then fought from 1828 to 1834 between those supporting constitutionalism, and those opposed to this change, keen on near absolutism and led by D. Miguel. Porto rebelled again and had to undergo a siege of 18 months between 1832 and 1833 by the absolutist army. Porto is also called Cidade Invicta, English, unvanquished city, after successfully resisting the Miguelist siege. After the abdication of King Miguel, the liberal constitution was re-established. Known as the City of Bridges, Porto built its first permanent bridge, the Ponte das Barcas, a pontoon bridge, in 1806. Three years later, it collapsed under the weight of thousands of fugitives from the French invasions during the Peninsular War, causing thousands of deaths. It was replaced by the Ponte di Maria II, popularized under the name Ponte Pencil suspended bridge and built between 1841–43, only its supporting pylons have remained. The Ponte di Maria, a railway bridge, was inaugurated on 4 November of that same year. It was considered a feat of wrought iron engineering and was designed by Gustave Eiffel, notable for his Parisian tower. The later Ponte Dom Luis I replaced the aforementioned Ponte Pencil. This last bridge was made by Théophile Seyrig, a former partner of Eiffel. Seyrig won a governmental competition that took place in 1879. Building began in 1881 and the bridge was opened to the public on 31 October 1886. A higher learning institution in nautical sciences de Nautica, 1762, and a stock exchange Bolsa do Porto, 1834, were established in the city, but were discontinued later. Unrest by Republicans led to the first revolt against the monarchy in Porto on 31 January 1891. This resulted ultimately in the overthrow of the monarchy and proclamation of the republic by the 5 October 1910 revolution. Topic: 20th century. On the 19th of January 1919, forces favorable to the restoration of the monarchy launched in Porto a counter-revolution known as Monarchy of the North. During this time, Porto was the capital of the restored kingdom, as the movement was contained to the north. The monarchy was deposed less than a month later and no other monarchist revolution in Portugal happened again. The historic centre of Porto was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1996. 
The World Heritage Site is defined in two concentric zones, the protected area, and within it the classified area. The classified area comprises the medieval borough located inside the 14th century Romanesque wall. Geography <inaudible> 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 In 1996, UNESCO recognized its historic center as a World Heritage Site. Among the architectural highlights of the city, Porto Cathedral is the oldest surviving structure, together with the small Romanesque Church of Cetafeta, the Gothic Agrigia de São Francisco Church of Saint Francis, the remnants of the city walls and a few 15th-century houses. The Baroque style is well represented in the city in the elaborate gilt work interior decoration of the churches of St. Francis and St. Clair Santa Clara, the churches of Mercy Misericordia and of the clerics Agrigia dos Clerigos, the Episcopal Palace of Porto, and others. The neoclassicism and romanticism of the 19th and 20th centuries also added interesting monuments to the landscape of the city, like the magnificent Stock Exchange Palace Palacio da Bolsa, the Hospital of St. Anthony, the municipality, the buildings in the Liberdade Square and the Avenida dos Aliados, the tile-adorned São Bento train station and the gardens of the Crystal Palace Palacio de Crystal. A guided visit to the Palacio da Bolsa, and in particular the Arab Room, is a major tourist attraction. Many of the city's oldest houses are at risk of collapsing. The population in Porto Municipality dropped by nearly 100,000 since the 1980s, but the number of permanent residents in the outskirts and satellite towns has grown strongly. Administratively, the municipality is divided into seven civil parishes Freguesias, Aldor, Foz do Douro e Nevogild, Bonfim, Campana, Cidafeta, Santo Ildefonso, Se, Miragaya, São Nicolau e Vitoria, Lordello do Oro e Masarilos, Paranos, Romalde Climate Porto features a warm summer Mediterranean climate CSB in the Köppen climate classification, with influences of an oceanic climate Köppen, CFB. As a result, its climate shares many characteristics with the coastal south, warm, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. Cool and rainy days can, occasionally, interrupt the dry season. These occasional summer rainy periods may last a few days and are characterized by showers and cool temperatures of around 20 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in the afternoon. The annual precipitation is high and concentrated in the winter months, making Porto one of the wettest major cities of Europe. However, long periods with mild temperatures and sunny days are frequent even during the rainiest months. Summers are typically sunny with average temperatures between 16 degrees Celsius 61 degrees Fahrenheit and 27 degrees Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit but can rise to as high as 38 degrees Celsius 100 degrees Fahrenheit during occasional heat waves. During such heat waves the humidity remains quite low. Nearby beaches are often windy and usually cooler than the urban areas. Summer average temperatures are a few degrees cooler than those expected in more continentally Mediterranean-influenced metropolises on the same latitude such as Barcelona and Florence. Winter temperatures typically range between 5 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit during morning and 15 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in the afternoon but rarely drop below 0 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit at night. The weather is often rainy for long stretches although prolonged sunny periods do occur. Politics and government See also, List of Mayors of Porto and Metropolitan Area of Porto <laughs> Local election results 1976–2017 Economy <inaudible> 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 
As the most important city in the heavily industrialized Northwest, many of the largest Portuguese corporations from diverse economic sectors, like Altri, Ambar, Amorim, Beal, Cerealis, BPI, SIN, EFACEC, Frulact, Lactogal, Millennium BCP, Porto Editora, Grupo RAR, Sonai, Sonai Industria, and Unicer, are headquartered in the greater metropolitan area of Porto, most notably, in the core municipalities of Maia, Matosinos, Porto, and Vila Nova de the country's biggest exporter Petrogal has one of its two refineries near the city, in Leca da Palmera 13 km, and the second biggest Comanda, now bankrupt, has its only factory also near the city in Mindelo 26 km. .The city's former stock exchange Bolsa do Porto was transformed into the largest derivatives exchange of Portugal, and merged with Lisbon Stock Exchange to create the Bolsa de Valores de Lisboa e Porto, which eventually merged with Euronext, together with Amsterdam, Brussels, LIF and and Paris Stock and Futures Exchanges. The building formerly hosting the stock exchange is currently one of the city's touristic attractions, the Salau Arabe Arab room in English being its major highlight. Porto hosts a popular Portuguese newspaper, Jornal de Noticias. The building where its offices are located which has the same name as the newspaper was up to recently one of the tallest in the city it has been superseded by a number of modern buildings which have been built since the 1990s. Porto Editora, one of the biggest Portuguese publishers, is also in Porto. Its dictionaries are among the most popular references used in the country, and the translations are very popular as well. The economic relations between the city of Porto and the upper Douro River have been documented since the Middle Ages. However, they were greatly deepened in the modern ages. Indeed, sumac, dry fruits and nuts and the Douro olive oils sustained prosperous exchanges between the region and Porto. From the riverside quays at the river mouth, these products were exported to other markets of the Old and New World. But the greatest lever to interregional trade relations resulted from the commercial dynamics of the port wine Vinho do Porto agro industry. It decidedly bolstered the complementary relationship between the large coastal urban center, endowed with open doors to the sea, and a region with significant agricultural potential, especially in terms of the production of extremely high-quality fortified wines, known by the world-famous label Port. The development of Porto was also closely connected with the left margin of River Douro in Vila Nova de Gaia, where is located the amphitheater-shaped slope with the port wine cellars. In a study concerning competitiveness of the 18 Portuguese district capitals, Porto was the worst ranked. The study was made by Minho University Economics Researchers and was published in Publico newspaper on 30 September 2006. The best ranked cities in the study were Évora, Lisbon and Coimbra. Nevertheless, the validity of this study was questioned by some Porto's notable figures such as local politicians and businesspersons who argued that the city proper does not function independently but in conurbation with other municipalities. A new ranking, published in the newspaper Expresso Portuguese newspaper in 2007 which can be translated to the best cities to live in Portugal, ranked Porto in third place tied with Évora below Guimarães and Lisbon. The two studies are not directly comparable as they use different dependent measures. The Porto metropolitan area had a GDP amounting to $43 billion, and $21,674 per capita. Transport Roads and bridges The road system capacity is augmented by the Via de Centura Interna or A20, an internal highway connected to several motorways and city exits, complementing the Circunvalisau four-lane peripheric road, which borders the north of the city and connects the eastern side of the city to the Atlantic shore. The city is connected to Valencia Viana do Castello by Highway A28, to Estereia Aveiro by the A29, to Lisbon by the A1, to Braganca by the A4 and to Braga by the A3. There is also an outer ring road, the A41, that connects all the main cities around Porto, linking the city to other major metropolitan highways such as the A7, A11, A42, A43 and A44. Since 2011, a new highway, the A32, connects the metropolitan area to São João da Madeira and Oliveira de Azemais. 
During the 20th century, major bridges were built, Arabida Bridge, which at its opening had the biggest concrete supporting arch in the world, and connects north and south shores of the Douro on the west side of the city, S. Joao, to replace D. Maria Pia and Freixo, a highway bridge on the east side of the city. The newest bridge is Ponte do Infante, finished in 2003. Two more bridges are said to be under designing stages and due to be built in the next ten years, one on the Campo Alegre area, nearby the Faculty of Humanities and the Arts, and another one in the area known as the Masarilos Valley. Porto is often referred to as Cidade das Pontes, City of the Bridges, besides its more traditional nicknames of Cidade Invicta, Unconquered, Invincible City, and Capital do Norte, Capital of the North. Cruising In July 2015 a new cruise terminal was opened at the port of Lakesos, which is north of the city in Matosinos. Airports Porto is served by Francisco de Sá Carneiro Airport which is located in Pedras Rubras, Moreira da Maia civil parish of the neighboring municipality of Maia, some 15 km 9 miles to the northwest of the city center. The airport is a state-of-the-art facility, having undergone a massive program of refurbishment due to the Euro 2004 football championships being partly hosted in the city. Public transport Topic Railways Porto's main railway station is situated in Campana, located in the eastern part of the city and connected to the lines of Douro, Peso da Regua, Tua, Pochinho, Minho, Barcelos, Viana do Castelo, Valencia, and Centre of Portugal on the main line to Aveiro, Coimbra, and Lisbon. From Campana Station, both light rail and suburban rail services connect to the city centre. The main central station is São Bento Station, which is itself a notable landmark located in the heart of Porto. Porto is well connected with Lisbon with high-speed trains called Alpha Pendular, that cover the distance in 2 h 42 minutes. The intercities take slightly more than three hours to cover the same distance. In addition, Porto is connected to the Spanish city of Vigo with the Celta train, running twice every day. The journey takes 2 hours and 20 minutes to connect both cities. <laughs> Light rail Currently the major project is the Porto Metro, a light rail system. Consequently, the Infante Bridge was built for urban traffic, replacing the Dom Luis I, which was dedicated to the light rail on the second and higher of the bridge's two levels. Six lines are open, lines A blue, B red, C green, and E purple all begin at Estadio do Dragao home to FC Porto and terminate at Senhor de Matosinos, Pavoa de Varzim via Vila do Conde, ISMAI via Maya and Francisco Sá Carneiro Airport respectively. Line D yellow currently runs from Hospital S. Joao in the north to Santo Ovidio on the southern side of the Douro River. Line F orange, from Sonora da Hora Matosinos to Fanzeras Gondomar. The lines intersect at the central Trindade station. Currently the whole network spans 60 km 37 miles using 68 stations, thus being the biggest rapid transit system in the country. Buses The city has an extensive bus network run by the STCP Sociedade dos Transportes Colectivos do Porto, or Porto Public Transport Society which also operates lines in the neighboring cities of Gaia, Maia, Matosinos, Gondomar and Valongo. Other smaller companies connect such towns as Pacos de Ferreira and Santo Terso to the town center. In the past the city also had trolleybuses. A bus journey is 1.85 euro, which must be paid in cash. Topic: <laughs> Trams. A tram streetcar network, of which only three lines remain, one of them being a tourist line on the shores of the Douro, saw its construction begin on the 12th of September 1895, therefore being the first in the Iberian Peninsula. 
The lines in operation all use vintage tramcars, so the service has become a heritage tramway. STCP also operates these routes as well as a tram museum. The first line of the area's modern tram, or light rail system, named Metro do Porto, opened for revenue service in January 2003 after a brief period of free, introductory service in December 2002. <laughs> Porto public transportation statistics The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Porto, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 47 minutes. 6.5% of public transit riders, ride for more than two hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 12 minutes, while 17.4% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 6 km, while 5% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. Culture In 2001, Porto shared the designation European Culture Capital. In the scope of these events, the construction of the major concert hall space Casa da Musica, designed by the Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas, was initiated and finished in 2005. The first Portuguese moving pictures were taken in Porto by Aurelio da Paz dos Reis and shown there on 12 November 1896 in Teatro do Principe Real do Porto, less than a year after the first public presentation by Auguste and Louis Lumière. The country's first movie studios in Victa Films was also erected in Porto in 1917 and was open from 1918 to 1927 in the area of Carvalhido. Manuel de Oliveira, a Portuguese film director and the oldest director in the world to be active until his death in 2015, is from Porto. Fantasporto is an international film festival organized in Porto every year. Many renowned Portuguese music artists and cult bands such as GNR, Rui Veloso, Sergio Godino, Cla, Pluto, Otsitonas and Ornados Violeta are from the city or its metropolitan area. Porto has several museums, concert halls, theatres, cinemas, art galleries, libraries and book shops. The best known museums of Porto are the National Museum Sores dos Reis, Museu Nacional de Sores dos Reis, which is dedicated especially to the Portuguese artistic movements from the 16th to the 20th century, and the Museum of Contemporary Art of the Saraves Foundation, Museu de Arte Contemporânea. The city has concert halls of a rare beauty and elegance such as the Colosseu do Porto by the Portuguese architect Cassiano Branco, an exquisite example of the Portuguese decorative arts. Other notable venues include the historical São João National Theatre, the Rivoli Theatre, the Batala Cinema and Casa da Musica, inaugurated in 2005. The city has the Lelo Bookshop, which is frequently rated among the top bookstores in the world. Porto houses the largest synagogue in the Iberian Peninsula and one of the largest in Europe, Kadori Synagogue, inaugurated in 1938. Entertainment Porto's most popular event is St. John São João Festival on the night of 23–24 June. In this season it's a tradition to have a vase with bush basil decorated with a small poem. During the dinner of the great day people usually eat sardines and boiled potatoes together with red wine. Another major event is Queima das Fidas, that starts in the first Sunday of May and ends in the second Sunday of the month. Basically, before the beginning of the study period preceding the school year's last exams, academia tries to have as much fun as possible. The week has 12 major events, starting with the monumental serenata on Sunday, and reaching its peak with the Cortejo Académico on Tuesday, when about 50,000 students of the city's higher education institutions march through the downtown streets till they reach the city hall. During every night of the week a series of concerts takes place on the Camodromo, next to the city's park, where it's also a tradition for the students in their second to last year to erect small tents where alcohol is sold in order to finance the trip that takes place during the last year of their course of study. An average of 50,000 students attend these shows. Porto was considered the fourth best value destination for 2012, by Lonely Planet. Arts 
In 2005, the municipality funded a public sculpture to be built in the waterfront plaza of Matosinos. The resulting sculpture is entitled She Changes by American artist, Janet Eckelman, and spans the height of 50 times 150 times 150 meters. Architecture Due to its long history, the city of Porto carries an immense architectural patrimony. From the Romanesque cathedral to the social housing projects developed through the late 20th century, much could be said surrounding architecture. Porto is home to the Porto School of Architecture, one of the most prestigious architecture schools in Europe and the world. It is also home to two earners of the Pritzker Architecture Prize two former students of the aforementioned school, Álvaro Cesar Vieira and Eduardo Suto de Mora. Gastronomy Porto is home to a number of dishes from traditional Portuguese cuisine. A typical dish from this city is tripas a moda do Porto tripes Porto style. Bacalhau a gomes de sa, gomes de sa bacalhau is another typical codfish dish born in Porto and popular in Portugal. The Francisinha, literally Frenchy, or more accurately Little French female, is the most famous popular native snack food in Porto. It is a kind of sandwich with several meats covered with cheese and a special sauce made with beer and other ingredients. Port wine, an internationally renowned wine, is widely accepted as the city's dessert wine, especially as the wine is made along the Douro River which runs through the city. Tourism Over the last years, Porto has experienced significant tourist expansion, mainly caused by the Ryanair hub at Francisco de Sá Carnero Airport. Porto won the European Best Destination 2012, 2014 and 2017 awards. <inaudible> <inaudible> Education The city has a large number of public and private elementary and secondary schools, as well as kindergartens and nurseries. Due to the depopulation of the city's interior, however, the number of students has dropped substantially in the last decade, forcing a closure of some institutions. The oldest and largest international school located in Porto is the Oporto British School, established in 1894. There are more international schools in the city, such as the French School and the Deutsch School, both created in the 20th century. Porto has several institutions of higher education, the largest one being the state-managed University of Porto Universidade do Porto, which is the second largest Portuguese university, after the University of Lisbon, with approximately 28,000 students and considered one of the 100 best universities in Europe. There is also a state-managed polytechnic institute, the Instituto Politecnico do Porto, a group of technical colleges, and private institutions like the Luciada University of Porto, Universidade Fernando Pessoa, UFP, the Porto's Higher Education School of Arts, ESAP Escola Superior Artística do Porto, and a Vatican State University, the Portuguese Catholic University in Porto, Universidade Católica Portuguesa Porto, and the Portucalense University in Porto, Univers Cidade Portucalense, Infante de Henrique. Due to the recognition, potential for employment and higher revenue, there are many students from the entire country, particularly from the north of Portugal, attending a college or university in Porto. For foreigners wishing to study Portuguese in the city there are a number of options. As the most popular city in Portugal for Erasmus students, most universities have facilities to assist foreigners in learning the language. There are also several private learning institutions in the city. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Public Health. Porto District has the highest rate of tuberculosis positive cases in Portugal. Porto tuberculosis rates are at third world proportions. Comparatively, London faces a similar phenomenon. The incidence of positive cases was 23 100 thousandths nationwide in 1994, with a rate of 24 100 thousandths in Lisbon and 37 100 thousandths in Porto. Porto area represented the worst epidemiological situation in the country, with very high rates in some city boroughs and in some poor fishing and declining industrial communities. 
Epidemiological analysis indicated the existence of undisclosed sources of infection in these communities, responsible for continuing transmission despite a control rate of 83% in the district. In 2002, the situation was not better with 34 100 thousandths nationwide and 64 100 thousandths in Porto district. In 2004 the situation improved to 53 100 thousandths. Sport Porto, in addition to football, is the home to many athletic sports arenas, most notably the city-owned Pavilhão Rosa Moda, swimming pools in the area of Constituição between the Marcus and Boavista, and other minor arenas, such as the Pavilhão do Académico. Porto is home to northern Portugal's only cricket club, the Oporto Cricket and Lawn Tennis Club. Annually, for more than 100 years, a match the Kendall Cup has been played between the Oporto Club and the Casuals Club of Lisbon, in addition to regular games against touring teams mainly from England. The club's pitch is located off the Rua Campo Alegre. In 1958 and 1960, Porto's streets hosted the Formula One Portuguese Grand Prix on the Boavista Street Circuit, which are re-enacted annually, in addition to a World Touring Car Championship race. Every year in October the Porto Marathon is held through the streets of the old city of Porto. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Football. As in most Portuguese cities, football is the most important sport. There are two main teams in Porto, FC Porto in the parish of Campana, in the eastern part of the city and Boavista in the area of Boavista in the parish of Rimalde, in the western part of the city, close to the city centre. FC Porto is one of the big three teams in the Portuguese league, and was European champion in 1987 and 2004, won the UEFA Cup 2003 and Europa League 2011 and the Intercontinental Toyota Cup in 1987 and 2004. Boavista have won the championship once, in the 2001 season and reached the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup in 2003, where they lost 2-1 to Celtic. Formerly, Salgueros from Paranos was a regular first division club during the 1980s and 1990s but, due to financial indebtedness, the club folded in the 2000s. The club was refounded in 2008 and began playing at the regional level. They now play at the third level of Portugal's national football pyramid. However, the new Salgueros club plays outside the city in Pedrucos, Maya. The biggest stadiums in the city are FC Porto's Estadio do Dragão and Boavista's Estadio do Bessa. The first team in Porto to own a stadium was Académico, who played in the Estadio do Lima. Académico was one of the eight teams to dispute the first division. Salgueros, who sold the grounds of Estadio Ingeniero Vidal Pinheiro Field to the Porto Metro and planned on building a new field in the Acadagua area of Porto. Located a few hundred meters away from the old grounds, it became impossible to build on this land due to a large underground water pocket, and, consequently, they moved to the Estadio do Mar in Matosinos owned by Lakesos. For the Euro 2004 football competition, held in Portugal, the Estadio do Dragão was built replacing the old Estadio das Antas and the Estadio do Bessa was renovated. Basketball The FC Porto basketball team plays its home games at the Dragão Caixa. Its squad won the second most championships in the history of Portugal's first division. Traditionally, the club provides the Portuguese national basketball team with numerous key players. Topic: International relations. Topic: Twin towns, sister cities. Porto is twinned with. Topic: Notable citizens. Adriano de Peva, he is the first inventor of television. But as the kingdom could not afford his project, he sold his idea to another man. Alexander Quintanilla, born the 9th of August 1945, scientist and member of parliament. Almeida Garrett, 1799 to 1854, notable writer, theater director, and liberalist. 
Álvaro Cisa Vieira, born the 25th of June 1933, architect. André Villas Boas, born the 17th of October 1977, football manager. Antonio Nober, Antonio Pereira Nober, the 16th of August 1867 to the 18th of March 1900, poet, died of tuberculosis in Foz do Douro, Porto, in 1900 after trying to recover in a number of places. His masterpiece, of Paris, 1892, was the only book he published. Antonio Pinho Vargas, born the 15th of August 1951, composer. Antonio da Silva Porto, Francisco Ferreira da Silva Porto, the 24th of August 1817 to 1890, Portuguese trader and explorer in Angola, in the Portuguese West Africa. The town of Cuito, founded by the Portuguese and named Belmonte at that time, was renamed Silva Porto. Antonio Sores dos Reis (1847–1889), sculptor. Armando de Basto (1889–1923), painter. Artur Larrero (1853–1932), painter. Bras Cubas (1507–1589), Portuguese explorer, colonial administrator, and founder of Santos in Brazil. Bruno Alves, born the 27th of November 1981, footballer. Charles Albert of Sardinia (1798–1849), Italian monarch. Diogo Vasconcelos (1968–2011), politician and social innovator. Duarte Coelho Pereira (c. 1485–1554), Portuguese nobleman, military leader, colonial administrator, and founder of Olinda in Brazil. Duda, born the 27th of June 1980, footballer. Eduardo Suto de Mora, born the 25th of July 1952, architect. Estevão Gomes, also known as Esteban Gomes and Esteban Gomes, c. 1483 to 1538, cartographer and explorer. He sailed at the service of Spain in the fleet of Ferdinand Magellan, but deserted the expedition before reaching the Strait of Magellan and returned to Spain in May 1521. In 1524, he explored present-day Nova Scotia, sailing south along the Maine coast. He entered New York Harbor, saw the Hudson River, and eventually reached Florida in August 1525. Because of his expedition, the 1529 Diogo Ribeiro world map outlines the east coast of North America almost perfectly. For now de Magalhães Ferdinand Magellan c. 1480-1521 the globe circumnavigation navigator, probably born in Porto, but surely lived and studied in this town. Francisco Laranjo, born the 5th of June 1955, painter. Francisco Sá Carneiro, 1934 to 1980, former prime minister. Francisco Vieira de Matos, 1765 to 1805, painter, aka Vieira Portuense. Freitas Magalhães, born 1966, psychologist and scientist. Guithermina Sugia, 1885 to 1950, cellist, born at Porto. Henrique Hilario, born the 21st of October 1975, Chelsea Football Club goalkeeper, born in Porto. Jorge Nuno Pinto da Costa, born the 28th of December 1937, president of FC Porto. Jose Pacheco Pereira, born the 6th of January 1949, politician, professor and political analyst. Julio Dennis, 1839 to 1871, doctor and writer. J.K. Rowling, writer of the Harry Potter saga. Calza de Arriaga, 1915-2004, general of the Portuguese army. Manuel de Oliveira, the 11th of December 1908 to the 2nd of April 2015, film director. Mary of the Divine Heart, Countess Drost zu Vischering and Mother Superior of the Good Shepherd Sisters Convent. Miguel Souza Tavares, born the 25th of June 1952, writer. Pedro Abrunhosa, born the 20th of December 1960, singer-songwriter. Pedro de Escobar, c. 1465 after 1535, Renaissance composer. Pero Vaz de Camina, 1450 to 1500, wrote the letter Carta do Acamento do Brasil, announcing the discovery of Brazil. Prince Henry the Navigator, 1394 to 1460, responsible for the early development of European exploration and maritime trade with other continents. Ramalha Ortigao, 1836 to 1912, writer. Raúl Morales, born the 17th of March 1983, footballer. 
Richard Zimler, born 1956, novelist. Rosa Mota, born the 29th of June 1958, marathon runner, Olympic gold medalist, Seoul 1988. Rui Raininho, born the 28th of February 1955, singer. Sara Sampaio, 1991, supermodel. Sofia de Mello Brainer Andreessen, 1919 to 2004, writer. Chiago Montero, born the 24th of July 1976, racing driver.